we live, it's your boy Marico. Million Mo Easy. Special guest here today. DJ837. This man really needed it. At all, you know what I'm saying? We got to hit Spinrilla. He on the top page and shit. Ain't even gotta say his name. What's good with you, boss? Cool, man. Always cool, man. Working hard. Trying to be like y'all, man. That's it. So you the top, you the top DMV DJ. DJ, you know. That's it. I, I, how many times did I, I say so. that? Yeah. I think so. I think, you know, top DMV DJ, you know, uh, 2015 and going into 2016. He's sure. been pretty consistent yeah. with the mixtape game, you know what I'm saying? As far as dropping the highest track singles and all that good stuff. Right, right. You feel like you're underrated, that's why you say that. Definitely, definitely. Uh, I feel like I'm underrated. Man. Yeah, why do you think that is? I mean, you know, because. A lot of people, you know, like a lot of people say they DJs and, you know, a lot of people say they artists. It's just like, like I said, people hear it so much, you know, they so skeptical of, you know, like when they see me, they like, oh, he's just another person saying he's a DJ, right. but not actually a DJ. And it's like... Because you're a real DJ, you exactly. spin, you spin in the club, scratch, you, you scratch, scratch on, you yeah. know. Equipment at the house, everything, man. This right. not no, this not no computer DJ. And it's a lot of DJs like, that's just playing shit. off yeah. their iPad. Yeah. Exactly, all, all, exactly. They get a Serato list and think it's it's they, game over. Yeah, they don't even get a Serato list. They get an iTunes list. Yeah. <laughs> and then they like, I'm a DJ. Right. Man, you know what I'm saying? Charles 150 to plug this aux cord in my phone. <laughs> but not only do you DJ, so you doing the mixtape circuit though. So yeah, like, yeah, I've been doing a mixtape circuit. Well, we were talking about you know uh, like. You know, going from local to the local plug, man, the outside plug. Like mm -hmm. your your following is, you know, Georgia, Miami, you know, South Texas, Carolina, North Texas, Carolina, yeah. you know, Kentucky, Tennessee, Chicago. Man. Yeah, shout out, shout out to Tennessee and Chicago, man. Heavy, man. Right. So, do you feel like you break artists? Yeah, I feel like I do. Yeah. Which yeah. artists have you broken that you could say that? Yeah, I, I kind of. You you seen that transition from you not really rocking with me to we start rocking with me now we made this connect and it's a bigger thing. Um, Dino De Niro. Dino De Niro. Dino De Niro, definitely, definitely saying you know since I got you know get linked up with him, did two of his tapes. We about to release another tape, Best Kept Secret too. Like this about to be our third tape together, mm -hmm. and like. Definitely same progress from him, man. You right. know, mm -hmm. from him at uh, LELs, you know. They, they they do their thing, man. Like, right. Definitely, definitely. Then, um, I would I wouldn't say I can't say uh, Ziploc Damo because Ziploc, you know, he had a little head of fire when it started right. at first. But me and him is like pretty like this now, you know. Mm -hmm. We we working, man. Like okay, he, he's he he's hot, man. I feel like he's definitely an underrated artist out here. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So I I think I heard of. Yeah, Ziploc Dumb was definitely a dope one. He did something with Zeddy the whole time. I don't know if I'm, if I'm right about that. But um, so off the off the subject to that, like back to uh, what we were talking about, what we were conversing earlier about the go-go thing. Mm -hmm. Like you kind of mm -hmm. been dropping go-go tapes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like yeah. I, I haven't seen no DJ dropping go-go tapes. And like what, what's the response yeah, from that? Forever, man. Forever. Like, I mean, that was just something that was on my Serato, you know, so much music, man, like, I just had to bring people back to our originality, right. you know what I'm saying, because it seemed like the music scene here was drifting off, you know, yeah. like, they was so focused on being from Atlanta or Chicago, and it was like so much copying, it was like, you forgot where you was from, mm -hmm. you know, we have our own originality here, and it's like, let me just put this go-go tape out because I know some people still like go-go. Yeah, I appreciate it. And, so, and the response was yeah. heavy, dog. Like, damn, they broke the internet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where did you find all those so the other ass tracks? Man, I had, I had all them. PA pilots like month. Right? Man, I had all them things. Like, some, some of my DJ partners gave me some too, right. you know, but. Like, my mom had a collection yeah, of CDs. Rolled back. Man. Oh, my. Like, my mom had a collection of go-go CDs, man. And she was just like, here, burn this on your computer. My uncle's everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, people that still listen to go-go. You know so, did the go-go like, band start go reaching out to you? Um, AJA reached out to me. Uh, AJA, okay. Dream Team. Um, who, who else was on there? Uh, I think it was Major. 
major band or something. Uh, I forget. I forget who it was. Uh, but a couple of them reached out to me. Mm -hmm. a couple of them, yeah. yeah, AJA mostly though. Like they sent me some tracks and everything. So what's your vision with that? Are you trying to? You trying to? Do you think Go Go could actually go mainstream? There's a lot of people who who beg to differ. You know, but what's, I mean, your, what's your outtake on it? Will, will Go Go ever go mainstream? I mean, it it, it could, but you no, know, you know, I wouldn't say that it would. You mm -hmm. know, because um, you know, like not everybody likes Go Go. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And a lot of people did fall back from Go Go, mm -hmm. and you know, I. I still listen to it. I like it. Shit, you know. Um, Backyard's kind of bringing it back to life with the Hello Remix thing. You know, it might. You know, that might take off because that's a hot song. Like, I don't even know how many Hello Remixes is out here. Mm -hmm. Like, it's hundreds, probably thousands. So right. that song in particular is taking off pretty big. But you know, um, right, there's a lot of bands that was hitting hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why wouldn't yeah. Why can't it take off and be mainstream? Like I said, a lot of a lot of people just, you know, don't listen to it from other areas. You know what I'm saying? You we might we might kinda think that somebody in North Carolina or, or but it's probably really somebody that came from the DMV area that's go to college right. somewhere down there is like, yeah, I'm listening to Go Go down here in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Or Miami, like when some of these bands and stuff travel, you know, it's kind of people that be in the crowd that's from the area. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, um... But it had a nice little wave as far as hitting homecomings, and that's a way to get people exactly. from other areas. Yeah, that's you know, exactly. I went to school in North Carolina. Exactly. So when TCB came down here for sure homecoming, right. all, the, all the rock and, you know what I'm saying, oh, Charlotte, yeah. all that shit, they was all in there. Yeah. But they had no choice, it's they homecoming. Exactly, you know, exactly. Not go to yeah, homecoming exactly, exactly, exactly. So that was a good way to get it, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like, it's such a negative image on it now that even from the outside looking in, like from the old fight, yeah, yeah, shit, yeah, you know? yeah, definitely, definitely. A lot of clubs just don't mess with it no more either. Yeah, like we can't get the support here yeah. now. Like, exactly, we really get the support like, from anywhere else. Yeah, exactly, bro. Like uh, it's crazy that they don't even they don't even be wanting me to play go go in some of the clubs. I'm like that's stupid. Like how could you not play go go in the club? That's in DC. Exactly. <laughs> like yeah. Like what? Right, we'll <laughs> DJ837 right here. What it do? I think we about to slide into the segments of the week though. Segments of the week! Yeah. So, segments of the week is not with Million Mo Easy. It's not with my Rico. It's not. It's with DJ837. Uh -huh. You got the honors, man. You you dealing the top with top of your head. Top artist of the week right now. Go. Top artist of the week? Top yeah. artist of the week in DMV. Week? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Wait, it's too many to choose from where I got right now. We want right now. Plug. Top artist of the week, man. Um, damn. Damn, what a week. Like, <laughs> 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 like, 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 like got to stab it. God damn. This is the stack right here. This is what we do, man. Week, 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 week. I can't. Week, week, week. Artist of the week. Artist week, of the week. week. <laughs> Yeah, that's hard for me. All right, so you think we're artists of the week because you can give us producer of the week? I definitely can't give you that. Oh, man. <laughs> man. Definitely can't give you the producer of the week, bro. <laughs> nah, come on, man. You got to give me an artist. It's got to be. What's the artist that's worth recognition for this week that's from the DMV? 
You just want to stamp somebody right now. They can have a mixtape yeah. coming out. Sound like you working with every artist in the area. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. 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 You give give one the give one the shout out. Yeah. Give him some clout right now. Yeah. Yeah. I know you about to drop a tape. They got some like Sound around. Okay. Sonic shout out to you, man. Mm -hmm. DJ Eight Three Seven stamped it. You see, that was a hard ass decision for him right now. You gotta get a producer. Um. Definitely. Uh. I mess with uh. Let me see. I like. I like. <laughs> this, this, like, this is, this is terrible, probably man. that's probably the most difficult segment of the week we've ever wait, had. Wait, wait, <laughs> oh my goodness! Crank shot, crank shot. Okay, shop. all right. That's the plug right there. DJ Three Seven Snap. So it's only about DMV the basement. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, so back to this. Uh, what's uh, something that you got coming up next? Like you had to think about so many artists for artists of the week. You must be working with. A shitload of them. I'm working with so many, you like. man. Like, um, I got, shoot, sure, today we supposed to have Wesley West, Sub Zero tape dropping today. Um, then the next few days, I suppose, be in Texas um, for that South by South, South, South West. West, you know, but I got Red Lounge every Wednesday. Yeah, Red Lounge every Wednesday, Keys to the City, mm -hmm. uh, Lambo Chasers. Who else affiliated with that? Like, it's a lot of people that's involved with. With that uh, showcase, um, Cutthroat, Cutthroat was with Cut us. Throat, yeah, bro. Cutthroat was with us, but he he not um he not doing it no more now. But okay. Ross Fire, yeah, he's still with who? Um, Ross Fire. Oh, oh, who's uh, the yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. They, kicked, they kicked him out. They kicked him out. They kicked him out. What? Not us, the club owners. Oh, they said they tried to say he was serving crack. <laughs> you know, you know how club owners be, man. They weirdos, man. So they kicked them out. So now we can't do the edible thing no more. Man, shout out to my man Ross Fire. Shout out to him, man. Ross Fire. Shout out to him. They gonna kick my man out. He's gonna kick him out. So they say you're not gonna hit the South by Southwest because you you got Red Lounge every Wednesday. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm definitely trying to make that play though, you know, but I do have a lot of stuff lined up for this week. Like this whole month is kind of like terrible for me. Like everything all at once. I think I got like 10 more mixtapes. That don't sound too terrible, man. Yeah. If this is what you do, that's business. It sound like oh yeah, 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 yeah. So business is booming. Sounds great. Great, though. Like, you know, I, I just love messing with everybody. I'm just trying to help everybody win, man. You know, whatever I can do to help out somebody, like, that's all I'm here to do, you yeah. know. Respect. Respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't be, you know, I don't show favoritism. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I just support, man. Whoever grinding, whoever putting in that work, I know how hard it is for somebody to recognize them, man. Mm -hmm. Show love, and that's what I'm here for. You right. know what I'm saying? Show them that it's not all DJs out in this area is on some fuck shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, that's, you know. I mean, good things are going to happen to you, though, man. you definitely been putting the work in and, you know, starting to get your recognition and your way. So you see that everything that's happening, man. It's mm -hmm. just it's, it's just going to be another level pretty soon. Right, right, so, right, you know, right. much respect to you. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah, for sure. Appreciate so you. So I appreciate you coming out, bro. You know what I'm saying? No doubt, man. Thanks you know, for having me. It's all good, Don't be surprised man. I hit DJ 837 on that crank forever. Yeah, I'm man. Just, uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just. Subliminals. <laughs> I want to thank y'all for tuning in. Now we're tuning out.